Lecture 7 – Dreams and Reality In this lecture we will talk about the difference between dreams and reality. We will examine how children of various ages distinguish people and objects that they see in their dreams from real people and objects. And how they discover that they woke up and are no longer asleep. The aim of these dialogues was to find out what criteria children of various ages apply to distinguish dreams from reality. Question 1. So, you think that you are not asleep at the moment and everything that you can see and hear exists really and truly? Question 2. And why do you think that you are not asleep right now? Question 3. Can it be that it only seems to you that you are in a vigilant state, whereas in reality you are still asleep? Why? Question 4. Can you tell me how people who you see in your dreams differ from real people? Question 5. And how do objects that you see in your dreams differ from real objects? Question 6. How do you know in the morning that you are awake and are no longer asleep? Results. People in dreams and in reality. Preschoolers were unable to give a clear answer of how they distinguish real people from those they see in their dreams. The school children said that people they see in dreams have the following distinctive features. They look like shadows. They cannot be touched by hands. They do not answer questions or their answers are incomprehensible. They have unusual appearances if compared to how they look in reality. Results – Objects in dreams and in reality In dreams, objects have the following features. They look like fog and quickly disappear from sight. One cannot touch them. They look like silhouettes of real objects, which do not have substance inside. The difference between reality and the dream The children discover that they are awake and no longer asleep because they see the same people and objects that they remember having seen before they fell asleep. They clearly remember the events that happened to them in the past. For instance, one child says, I am no longer asleep because I remember that years have passed. I was a little girl, then I grew, and there are still years of life ahead of me. A dream can't be so long. This graph shows children's answers to questions 3 and 6. As we can see, starting from the age of 9 years, the majority of children said that reality differs from the dream by two criteria. First, the clear and distinct quality of perceptions of the outer world. And second, the link between the past and the present. These same criteria were brought up by René Descartes. Conclusions on Section 1, Lectures 2 to seven children's answers that are similar to those proposed by Descartes. By the age of nine years, the majority of children understand that their personal existence is an unquestionable truth. Lecture two, that the existence of the external world can be inferred from the existence of a person. Lecture two, that thinking and existence is one and the same thing. Lecture two. That psychological qualities are different from physical ones by a number of features. Lecture 3. That in a living person his or her mind is inseparable from his or her body. Lecture 4. That truth and existence is one and the same thing. Lecture 4. That the knowledge about having a sensation of something is an undeniable truth. Lecture 6 that sensations are caused by external objects, lecture 6, that physical reality is fundamentally different from the reality of dreams, lecture 7. Children's answers that are different from those proposed by Descartes. Most children do not understand that sensations are subjective qualities and do not belong to physical objects that produce these sensations, lecture 6. Most children refuse to accept the idea 
that the fact of thinking about the Almighty subject with necessity leads to the acknowledgement that the Almighty subject must exist in the real world. Lecture 5